Hey guys, it's Chloe, and today I'm doing part two of my doll restoration video, and this is the wig removal part. If you haven't seen the first one, which is skin cleaning, the link will be in the description, so definitely go check that one out. And first of all, I'm sorry for the lighting because, you know, I am in my bathroom. But anyways, today we are doing how to remove your doll wig and put on a new one. This is actually not how to like glue on new doll wigs. I don't glue on doll wigs because one time I had a really bad experience and the bangs got all glued down so I don't actually glue on doll wigs. If I do, I use like glue dots. But today I'm just going to be removing the wig. You'll need a doll. Obviously the wig you're going to replace her hair with. This isn't really necessary for the first part of just removing it, but you do need it. You're gonna need two things to tie your hair up. Um, I'm using a really thick elastic that won't snap or break easily. And because this doll has bangs, I'm gonna be using a cheap little headband. Now for the actual wig removal, you're gonna need three things, and you're gonna need a metal spoon. You're gonna need these, and these are kind of almost like little face wash things. You can buy these at Target, Walmart, it's only a couple dollars for a whole lot of them and then non-acetone nail polish remover. Now I've removed doll wigs without this, but it is easier with this. And then I also recommend having a towel. So let's get started. So the first step is to remove anything that's kind of unneeded right now. Um, so I'm just gonna remove the wig out of the way. And now we're gonna put her hair up. And because she has bangs, I'm gonna start with the headband. Now with the headband, I recommend doing this with any kind of doll, but you have to do it with a doll with bangs. You just try and get it up so you can see the wig cap, or the wig cap line all the way across her head. And then with the hair up here, you just want to get it out of the way. Some people actually cut all of the hair off just so it's easier for this. Um, I definitely recommend doing that if you don't want to keep the wig or if it like can't be saved. But I like keeping my wigs because I never really know when I might need or I want them. Okay, now we're going to get started with the wig removal process. I recommend actually doing this over a sink, but if you don't have one nearby or available to you at the moment, then you can do this anywhere, but I suggest giving, giving a lot of towels and kind of patting the area down, which is just easier, I think, is doing it over a sink. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a towel and cover her up. You especially have to get her eyes covered because, again, it can rust her eyes. Well, the eyes are the really important part. If you want to even just tape this up there, you can go ahead, but I'm not going to. So now you want to take the acetone free nail polish remover and put some on the little swaps. A bit too much on. I actually got way too much on this one. You just kind of want to put a little bit on. But now what you're going to do is you're just going to dab it along the wig line. And I recommend starting at her head so that you can, you know, be super cautious about the eyes and stuff. You just want to get it kind of wet and then you start going in with the spoon and removing it. The spoon is get it underneath the wig cap. As you can see, I've started to get that right along here. So you try and fit the spoon underneath the wig cap and just wiggle it down as much as you can to get all of the glue off. It is difficult and you might need help from an adult. After a bit over 10 minutes, I finally got this wig off. And if you guys saw me struggling, then you would know that it was definitely really, really difficult. And there were parts where I did just rip the wig. Sometimes you'll know that it's just better to do is just to rip the wig. I was able to preserve most of the wig cap. 
But one thing is, is when I was doing it part, I ax I don't know how I did it, but I ripped the wig instead of the cap. And that has happened before, some parts of the little wig cap and glue will kind of stay behind if you just kind of want to pick those off. So it's going to be kind of difficult to get those off because they obviously didn't come off, you know, in the first place. But little hair might be stuck to some of the wig caps. This happens with pretty much every one I take off. With the little pipes that stay on, there probably will be a couple pieces of hair that just stay on. That was probably the hardest one I've ever taken off, so. Yeah, but what you're going to do with the little pieces of hair, you're just going to try and trim it as close as you can get. And with the hair, just throw it away unless you want to keep it for some reason. Um, Okay, so for those of you that have never seen Anne bald or wigless American Girl doll before, here she is. She does have a bit um, of some of the, you know, the remaining parts of the wig cap. I have tried to remove all of them, but some of them did just kind of stick and stay to her head, which is just something I'm going to deal with. And then in the back here, they have this giant circle. And what I've actually seen people do is that they sandpaper around this and then they make their own bald doll. That's that, and now we're gonna try the wig on. Like I said, I don't glue it on. Um, I might use a glue dot later, but I just, I don't glue wigs on, because what happened was I tried to glue a new wig on Molly, and, whoa, um, what happened was that the wig, the glue for the wig, I used tacky glue, it got all caught up in the bangs, so when that she dried, all of the bangs were clumped and stuck together with the glue and it was just kind of a waste of the $20 I spent on the wig and all the effort of getting the wig off so it was really stupid and pointless and stuff and it was really frustrating so I just don't glue wigs on anymore especially ones with bangs because I don't want them to you know have the same thing happen but now I'm just really just gonna stretch it out and put it on her if you guys haven't if you guys don't know where this wig is from I do have an opening video and I'll link it in the description box as well It is brand new wig. As you guys saw, what you really have to do is just stretch it out a lot and then just kind of lay it over his head almost like you're wearing a swim cap. So there it is. Um, you definitely want to make sure it's long enough in the back to cover up any little parts of the wig cap and mine does, which is really great. Parts of the sides like right here are a little bit long and I don't know if I'm just going to trim those off yet, but yeah, he's done. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!